Hey guys, what's up? And, um, it's been a while, and today we'll do another things video. Uh, this is a late night edition of a things video because it's almost 11.30 p.m. right now, but I'm doing my job because I'm, I'm committed, man. I'm committed. Anyway, let's start off with the meh tracks that's been released for the past couple of weeks. Angelique Kidjo with Once in a Lifetime, which is a Talking Heads cover. And if I am not wrong, so Angelique Kidjo is from Benin. And uh, <laughs> she did a very wacky African music infused kind of playful fun almost cartoony version of once in a lifetime and um it's kind of fun but still it it sounds nothing like the original song and uh it, it doesn't feel that great either it's just kind of awkward <laughs> is all and then we have brook candy with war which is um is it, which is a pretty forgettable track, to be honest. I didn't care for this track. Uh, it's, I think it's, um, it's a pretty emo-ish, girly track. That's supposed to be very nasty and hard-hitting, but completely failed on that. But it's not bad. It's just, eh. Chromio with a new track, Bad Decision. Another, um, predictable, but kind of vibrant, vivid pop tune. It's still pretty forgettable, though. Uh, Courtney Barnett with Sunday Roast. Oh yeah, she just released his, her uh, album, and uh, I gave it a listen. I gave it a couple of listens, and I think it's... Eh, I don't think I'll do a review on it. And Sunday Roast is the album ending, and... Um, it sounds like a deep cut to me. It's a pretty smooth, pretty swell ballad, but you know that's pretty much the extent of it. Um, nothing too crazy. Goth King with the new track "Womb," and this is a uh, post-punk art rock track that's really energetic at first, but as the track goes on, it kind of goes stale a little bit. So, eh. John Mayer with "New Light." It's not that bad, but uh. He's kind of going into this mainstream direction, but again, it's, it's not that bad. I guess it kind of sounds awkward with all these new instrumentations, but um, I guess I guess we'll have to find out. Joji with a new track, yeah, right, with um with that video with two asses shaking beside him. Um, you know, um, it's a pretty, you know, it's another lo-fi. I mean. Yeah, lo-fi, I, I, I don't know how to describe it, you know, just your average Joji stuff, you know, it, it's not bad, but it's kind of predictable, it's kind of sleepy, a little bit bland sometimes, I guess, but overall it's pretty good. Lil Peep, rest in peace, but he's still releasing music, here with Four Chains featuring Clams Casino. And it's actually not a bad track, not at all. It's low-key catchy, but only low-key. And, um, you know, it really has a little bit, a slight, a slight hint of emotions in here. Real, raw emotions. And um, it's, it's not bad. And then we have LSD with audio. You know, another really fun, vibrant, you know, new refreshing pop track i guess but um i mean it's kind of predictable that lsd is releasing this pop track but yeah it's pretty predictable you know with the second single here um we can pretty much predict their entire new album it's all going to be fun jumpy vibrant pop tracks i mean so i I hope that they would work a little, you know, versatility into their track list, maybe. Nico Case with a long, winding, heavy ballad. Curse of the I-5 Corridor. It's not bad. <laughs> Again, the album cover. Fuh. 
my eyes. Uh, it, it's it's such a terrible album cover, but it's not a bad song. Rico Nasty with Rage, whack, energetic, and intoxicating rap song that's really well performed, but it's simply a heart hitting banger. Nothing beyond that. Sam Smith, Prey featuring Logic. I think I'm supposed to put this in the worst section, right? Um, but you know, it's I don't know, maybe it's not that bad of a track, you know. Sam Smith's vocals are, as always, amazing, but um, I guess this track is kind of generic, kind of forgettable too. Tim Hecker with Rose Light. Um, I think I forgot how it sounds, but you know, it's pretty experimental, pretty moody, really odd and ominous, really atmospheric, and uh, I'm enjoying it. You know, it doesn't sound cheap; it sounds quality, but um, it's also nothing that exciting. Ty Seagal on White Fence also has a new track, Good Boy. You know, it's a very mellow, very soft and slow, you know, ballady track. And then Uffy, 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 however you pronounce that, Drugs. And um, it is a pretty, uh, I, I don't want to say generic, but I guess pretty, pretty average pop track. Oh yeah, and I forgot, Lou the Human has a new track that's incredibly short for some reason, Sour. And uh, you know, Lou the Human's Macklemore is one of my favorite tracks in 2017, and this doesn't have the charm that Macklemore has. And um, I just feel like um, there's a lot of um, space for improvement for Lou the Human, um, but I'm still anticipating for his new album, I guess. Moving on to the worst tracks, Big Shuck with Man Don't Dance. You know, like Big Shuck, uh, he had a meme, Man's Not Hot, in 2017, and that meme is actually one of my favorite memes of the year. But you can't do it twice, you know, you, you can't make a sequel to that. Like, if you, if you want to make that twice, you're just going to make it worse. So, uh, yeah, I mean... Of course, the, the track itself is bad, that's the point, but in general, it's not even that funny. <laughs> and then we have the DJ Mustard, Anywhere, featuring Nick Jonas. And this is a very, very boring, cheap, electronic track. It, it doesn't sound like anything, it just sounds like nothing. <laughs> like, I, I, I don't hear anything from this track. Jacob Sartorius has a new track up with it. I'm sorry, okay? I, It sounds like I'm giving credibility to Jacob Sartorius, but indeed, that is a song, and it's not a good song. Not good. I, I don't even have to explain why. J-Rock has a new track, Win, with Kendrick Lamar ad-libbing in the background. Uh, but, you know, this track is just obnoxious. Like, oh my gosh, and... And J-Rock's performance on this track is really goofy, like, uh, annoying track. Liam Payne and Jay Balvin with Familiar, another track that's, that doesn't need my explanation. It's not super terrible, but it's still, eh, why? Like, Le where's Liam Payne on this track? Where, where is he? I, I don't, <laughs> like, I know Liam Payne is in this track, but majority of this track is, is J Balvin and it doesn't sound any any special at all uh, little baby and Drake with Pikachu very generic very I guess how should I say cheap cheap rap track I'll say that little Tracy and little Uzi vert with like a farmer remix and uh we have all these cheap ass puns and i guess and the performance by lil uzi vert on this track is really a turn off for me wow all right pharrell williams mm, and camila cabello with sangria wine and uh man first of all camila cabello's performance as always bland 
mundane, and forgettable. But what's the big problem here is Pharrell Williams, because he sounds really crappy in this track for some reason. Like, no hate. I don't hate him, but with all due respect, with all due respect, I this track, uh, okay, Rita Ora, girls featuring Cardi B, Bebe, Reha, Rexa, I don't know, and Charlie XCX. Another really generic and um, unimaginative pop track. It sounds like it's going to be a fun banger, but no. And this track is, is about kissing other girls. But it's more like Katy Perry's I Kiss the Girl than actually a song about girls liking other girls, you know? So it's... um. It's, it's just hanging out in, in, in the gray zone, not doing anything. And at, um, last track, uh, Ty Dolla Sign with Clout featuring 21 Savage. And need I say more? Oh my gosh. <laughs> uh, anyway, best tracks. Here we go. Aesop Rock with Klutz. Not like this track is mind-blowingly epic or amazing or anything, but again, um, his flow really nice his delivery his lyrics are really nice and it's not a bad track overall oh yeah but then we have anderson pock with bubbling man oh my gosh like the, the the eccentric the lavishing strings and his super speedy and energetic flow wow like anderson pock is blowing up and this track it's, it's one of my favorites of the year hands down Oh wow, this is even better. Andre 3000, one half of Outkast, legendary hip hop duo in the East, Outkast. And here we have two tracks. One of them is Me and My, which is a very sad piano ballad that has no rapping whatsoever. It's four minutes long. The next track, Look Ma No Hands, is 17 minutes long with James Blake. On pianos and this is basically a a very uh, a very sad a very tragic very slow and um, I guess I guess heart churning uh, jazz track and uh, oh my gosh like this doesn't sound like Andre 3000 at all and I think that's one of the reasons why Andre 3000 had not been releasing music for a while now Anyway, another amazing track, Death Grips with Black Paint. Last time they released Streaky, kind of disappointed, but with Black Paint, I, wow. Like, although it wasn't, it isn't as raw as those on Jenny Death or as paranoia-inducing as those on Government Plates, but it's still such a, such a thick, saturated track, you know. The guitars are somewhat psychedelic as it goes up the scale. We can hear, um, you know, um, Zach Hill's drums very clearly. It's very audible on this track. And um, overall, it has a very steady beat. And it really builds up, you know, this, this tension. And uh, wow, it built to such a climax. And, um, you know, boom, boom, boom. I, I just love it. And they also released a new track, um, which is... Um, Flies, it's not bad, you know, like in general, like generally speaking, it's a pretty good song, but in like a death grip standard, it's eh, but still, I'm still going to put it in the best track section, you know, it's um, it's like those bangers on Bottomless Pit, it's very metallic, it's very glitchy, and um, it's not like the most original thing by Death Grips, but hey, it's 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 kind of a banger, you know. Disclosure Ultimatum featuring, but all right, I'm gonna but butcher this, am I? Fatu Mata. Uh, wait, I'm actually looking up on Google. One sec. Come on. Internet connection, here we go. From Malia, Fatumata, the Yawara. Um, uh, she's featured on this track by Disclosure with Ultimatum. And this is a super, you know, 
laid back, light hearted electronic dance track. I I I love it. I love it. John Wayne with Last Last Fall is all uh, is also on this list, and um, it's a really lo-fi rap track that's really comfortable and um really mellow really smooth caro caro bonito has a new track time today and it's still a very catchy and fun pop track the music video is pretty nice also we see um i forgot the name you know we see this mental institution place i guess and uh it's it's a pretty good track kitten with strange embrace and um this is the uh the synth pop the really weird and strange synth pop uh band with this strange new track that's actually pretty well produced and well written lump another really 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 strange track lump they are i think a duo and they basically in infuse not infused fused genres of death metal and soul together but in a good way and with this track late to the flight yeah it's soul and death metal and uh go listen to it on your own anyway a melody's echo chamber with desert horse and it's a really experimental glitchy skippy but also kind of catchy and fun pop track Oh yeah, Nine Inch Nails, God Break Down the Door, and it's, you know, very David Bowie-inspired, repetitive, you know, stripped, late, not, not laid back, stripped back, very, um, mind-boggling, migraine-inducing track, that's actually really good. Spiritual Cramp, I Feel Bad Being Me, and this is this, uh, very new, um, you know, post-punk art rock band that I'm digging. You know, post-punk is 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 my type of genre, and this track is is really the 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 post-punk track. You know, you know, it, it's um the the guitar riffs are really memorable, and uh, the performance it's full of energy. It's really tense. I like it. Speaking of tension, vein with new track virus colon slash slash vibrance and uh, wow this is a very intense and uh, loud and noisy track and aggressive as well but um wow just wow ybn corday also has a new track and uh it is basically a j cole response and it's not bad um but um you know it just has has a lot of meaning in it and the flow the lyrics are pretty good the concept is really nice and uh, overall i'm digging this track also i don't know if this is actually a song or what but tyler the creator with 435 435 and it's actually really not really but pretty pretty good song i'll i'll, I'll say that and uh at the end we have a melonic track another melonic track cal chuchesta with on deck freestyle it's trash and uh you know at the end i'm gonna talk about something else so um i actually don't know what should i talk about other than that little tay um expose thing you know not too long ago i think about a month ago uh little tay's mom got fired because um she allowed her daughter aka little tay to do all of these shit in in the uh, youtube and uh, you know little tay that that nine-year-old girl who's bragging with her money who's who's flexing on your mama's rent who's uh you know spinning out all these swear words and um just being super toxic and harmful you know you know little tay she she really does you know disappoint me a lot she's just nine years old and she's doing all this like what kind of logic is this and um her mom got fired and apparently the car she's flexing it actually belongs to her mom's boss and uh exposed and then 
we have some more leakage of videos and as it turns out what little Tay says in all these you know flexing videos are actually all controlled and manipulated by her brother or at least that's what it looks like and um i don't know if if little tay was was actually an innocent girl at the beginning and uh it's just that the family fucked her up so bad but i doubt it you know i i don't know what 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 the family is up to what 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 are their family is up to like i don't know what kind of sick psychotic shit is going on with their family but whatever it's happening they have to stop <laughs> like i i don't know man like i was hoping like this is so ridiculous i'm hoping that it's all a, a ruse a, a parody it's all satire but um even if it's satire even if it's a parody they have already gone too far like a nine-year-old swearing in the public, posting videos, flexing, calling people bitches without actually knowing how harmful the word is. Although it's not like the worst word, but still, you know, at least that's what it looks like. Maybe a little taste more mature than we think. Who knows? But, you know, whatever is happening... Lil Tay's family is fucked, okay. Well, there you go. This is my things video. I am supposed to um, film my Avengers Infinity War movie review. I just watched it yesterday, but um, yay, I, I have no time. So uh, there's that. So I'm going to shoot it tomorrow, I guess.